Hey, what's up guys? Marco here. Welcome back to another lesson. Today I'm going to answer the number one question nobody asks. In fact, guys, I do receive a lot of emails from you asking about my gear, which guitar I use, which strings I use, delay and reverb I like to use. But nobody never really asks an important question, which is how do I plug the strings so that I get the tone that I really want? And how can you plug the strings so that you can get the tone that you want? Now, obviously guys, a good guitar is better than a crappy guitar and practicing with a good guitar is going to develop your tone quickly. And yes, adding a piece of gear, for example, a delay or a reverb to your playing is going to inspire you to play things in a different way. But the basic thing here is that you have to understand how to play and pluck the strings so that you can really get the tone that you want. Now in this lesson, we are going to mainly focus on the finger picking technique and I'm gonna show you how you can get a beautiful tone out of your guitar. Also, we're going to kind of go a little bit deeper and I'm gonna show you how to file your nails so that you can get a beautiful rounded sound as well. And I'm gonna show you how you can pluck the strings in a different way depending on which style of music you are playing. So there is a lot going on. You can get the tab for everything that I play if you need it. Uh, and support this channel, just check my Patreon page and subscribe to this channel if you wanna keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now, let's get started. If you wanna achieve a beautiful tone on the acoustic guitar with the finger picking technique, we have to understand these three main concepts. The first one is the technique itself, so the way we position the right hand on the strings. The second one is the angle, which is responsible for the tone and the dynamics as well. It's extremely important. And then the third one is the articulation. So how do you move your fingers? Now the finger picking technique itself is very simple and straightforward. So the way you position your right hand on the strings is very simple. You always wanna keep the thumb in front of the fingers and keep the index, middle and ring very close um, to each other, okay? So the thumb would pluck downwards and the fingers upwards, very straightforward. Now, the most important thing here is the angle. So you wanna have your fingers at the 45 degree angle. And what I mean by that is that you don't wanna have your fingers sitting flat on the strings like this. But you wanna have a 45 degree angle. So you wanna turn your hand at a 45 degree angle and pluck the strings like this. Now, why do we like the 45 degree angle so much? Obviously, for different reasons. The first one is the tone. If I pluck the strings with the, um, with, with the flat fingers like this, I'm going to basically pluck the strings with the fingernails only. And as you can see, there's a really like metallic sound. But if I turn my hand at a 45 degree angle, it's going to change the tone quite a lot, for example. Going back to flat. So the 45 degree angle is definitely the best option when it comes to the finger picking technique. Now, do you need nails or you don't? It's totally up to you. Uh, nails will definitely give you a little bit more dynamic. It's, they're going to give you more volume, but you don't need to play finger picking guitar with nails. There are a lot of awesome guitar players who, uh, you know, like don't have nails. But I do recommend that you grow your nails a little bit just to get more volume and dynamics. Now guys, one of the things that is extremely important about the finger picking technique is really understanding the difference between playing with the thumb and playing with the fingers. In fact, thumb and fingers will pluck the strings differently. And this is because of the knuckles. Now the thumb has two knuckles, the major knuckles, which is this one, that connects the finger to the palm, and then it has a small knuckle, the minor knuckle, which is this one. Now when we pluck the strings with the thumb, we only use the major knuckle, in fact, if I play something like this. Mm -hmm. 
you see I never really use this knuckle here, just the big one, the major knuckle. And that's the reason why it feels so comfortable to pluck downwards with the thumb. Now, the fingers will pluck the strings differently because they have three knuckles. So you have the major knuckle, uh, the minor knuckle number one, and the minor knuckle number two. So we had three knuckles. Now, when we pluck with the fingers, there are two different movements, the preparation and the plucking. So that with the preparation, we are creating speed and momentum, and then with the plucking, we are obviously plucking the strings. Now, this is how it works. We're going to start the preparation with the big knuckle so the finger will move backward. And as I am approaching the string, I'm creating momentum and speed. For example, now when I pluck the strings, um, I will then use the uh, knuckle number one, okay, the small knuckle to pluck the string upward, okay? And this is going to give me, this is going to give me the volume and the tone that I need. So, so as you can see, there is always this preparation and then the plucking with the knuckles, with the minor knuckle going upwards. And so two different movements. All right, guys, now we're going to talk about nails. And I want to talk to you about whether you should or you should not use nails. Now, this is obviously up to you. There are a lot of acoustic guitar players who don't use nails that sound just awesome. So it's really totally up to you. It's about what do you like and how you want your guitar to sound like. So in my case, uh, I don't like the way I sound if I don't have nails. And so I started as a classical guitar player when I was 10 years old and I always played guitar with nails. So the problem is, if I don't have nails, I just don't like the tone, it's too dull and I can't really play fast and it's just way too difficult. Now, there is one thing that you have to know when you try to use nails, when you try to grow nails to play with your fingernails, you have to learn how to file them. And obviously you don't file them for a beauty purpose, so you don't really care how they look like, as long as they, uh, you know, do their job. So for example, in my case, I really like to have a rounded shape. I'm gonna show you. I really like to have a rounded shape. So for example, index, middle and ring, I really like to file the, uh, the left side of the nail and I make it really smooth and rounded. So that when I pluck the string, um, the fingers will just smoothly go through the string. Now, when you play with nails, you're always going to use a combination of skin and nail. And what I mean by that is, you never wanna pluck the strings just with the nail. So when you use a 45 degree angle, you're gonna start the very first part of your finger that touches the, the, the string is actually the flesh, the skin. And then as you pluck, you're gonna have then the nail plucking the string. And this is why you have such a beautiful tone, rounded, not too bright. If I just do nail. So for index, middle and ring, you wanna make sure that you file your nail just the same way, this rounded way. Now the thumb is kind of a different thing because for example, like I don't use the nail all the time. For example, if I just play chords, I like to play just with the skin, with the flesh. I don't use the nail. But if I had to play stuff that is a little bit more technical, then I will just kind of change the angle a little bit and pluck with the nail. Now the thumb, the, the nail here, the fingernail here is just same shape. So you wanna have the left side shaped, uh, you know, like a, like a drop here. And you make sure that they are smooth. So that when you pluck, you have a nice rounded tone. Now the awesome thing about the finger picking technique is the fact that allows you to play things in different ways. For example, I can have a lot of different 
uh, colors. I can play something bright, I can play something a little bit more dull, and it really depends on the way I pluck the strings. I'll give you an example. I usually use two uh, different approaches. One is more um, rounded, like the tone is more uh, melodic, rounded. So I'm using the 45 degree angle and I'm plucking the strings with the thumb, with the uh, skin only, with the flesh only. And I do that when I play chords, for example. So let's say that I play something like Now, if I play something else, for example, something that is a little bit more technical and I need more movement and I need more articulation, I will change the angle. So I'm gonna go from this angle where the palm is really close to the strings. I'm gonna push the palm a little bit out so that I have more nail available on the thumb. And also, um, I'm playing with more uh, nail, fingernail on the fingers as well. This approach is going to give me a brighter sound. For example, if I have to play something like this. So as you can see now, the tone is completely different. It's brighter and I have way more volume. Now, if I try to play this one with the uh, with the with the previous um, approach, it will sound like this. So it's way darker, and I have the feeling that I also struggle to articulate. So I, like I need I need to move a little bit more in order to get the same rhythm and the same groove. And so the awesome thing about the finger picking technique is the fact that you can really decide how to play things. Now guys, I hope that this video answered some of your questions. I think you should spend time um, practicing. You should buy good, you should definitely buy good gear, like a good guitar, buy good strings as well. But at the same time, spend a lot of time practicing uh, and work, work on your fingers. Improve your tone, dynamic, dynamics and musicality, you know, and you gotta do it with your fingers before you get to the next level gear, you know, buying like really expensive stuff. Um, so work on these things and I hope you get inspired with this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.